And developing now, local lawmakers are also speaking out about Michigan's stay-at-home order. 16 News Now reporter Ibrahim Samers live in Niles, Michigan, with more on what state officials are saying about the order today. Ibrahim. Lauren, I spoke to local state representative Brad Pocket, who says he too disagrees with Governor Gretchen Whitmer's latest uh, stay at home order. He says that uh, he feels that the voice of many residents are not being heard and that the governor is uh, making moves without considering how it will impact all of its residents here in Michigan. Now, we do know, according to John Hopkins University, that Michigan has more than 29,000 cases of COVID-19, the fourth highest in the country and the third highest number of deaths with more than 2,000. Now, over the last 40, 48 hours, we've seen thousands of Michiganders protest Governor Whitmer down in Lansing about the latest stay-at-home order issued one week ago. Now, the order includes the ban of travel between two residences, the ban of travel to in-state vacation residences, the use of motorboats and ordered stores to shut down certain areas that sell items such as gardening tools and furniture. Now, Paquette says that he, along with other state representatives, never were notified of the new restrictions when the new order was uh, issued last week. He says that has been part of the problem, along with how people who have figured out how to work safely now cannot with the new order. These are individuals that want to work, have put their livelihood into their business, and they realize how they can work safely, and the government is telling them not to. Especially with a protest like what happened yesterday, it is directly because people are not being heard. And that is the role of us as state representatives, as state senators, is to be the closest to the people and to get their voice heard. And with the protests in particular, it was meant to be in their cars. And you have some individuals who were getting out and mingling, and this is it. We can't have that. That isn't the safest thing. We need to have the legislature being the voice of the people, as was meant to be, so that we can do this because the frustration comes through us and we get their voices heard because those one-size-fits-all approaches are, are never the best for 10 million people. Now, we're also hearing that a group of protesters are also planning to protest in Indiana in the next couple in, in the in the coming week. And of course, we'll bring you that bring that to you as soon as we learn it. But of course, at coming up at six, we have more on what local health officials have to say about the order. Lauren, we send it back to you in the studio. Ibrahim Samer live for us in Niles tonight. Thanks, Ibrahim.